I'm Paul Maiva. I'm going on 20 years old. I'm half English and half French, and I'm proudly from the north of England. And I've lived in Morsi all my life. As I speak today, I'm recovering from an eating disorder. I was anorexic and bulimic uh, since I was uh, 17 years old. I was born and I grew up in Morsi. It's a small village in the Alps in France. It's uh, close to Switzerland and Italy. I became aware of my insecurities when I was 15 years old. I didn't really like how I looked like. I had my insecurities, but at the end of the day, I could just look myself in the mirror and be like, okay, I don't like this, but it doesn't matter. But I think that um, it really changed when I broke up with my boyfriend when I was when I was 16 years old. He pointed out everything that he never loved about me, everything that was wrong with me. And I took that very personally because it was my first love. I really liked him. So everything that he said, I took personally and it really destroyed my self-esteem. The eating disorder started after the breakup when I had a lack of self-esteem. Uh, over a year went on after the breakup when I was still okay, when I had a few symptoms of eating disorder, but I was still okay, I was still quite joyful, I was still quite happy, I wasn't in a bad state. The bulimia started at the end of the, my first year of high school. I sadly came out to the conclusion that I could lose weight, do sports and still eat a lot without it being done for nothing. When it happened once, then it just went into like a vicious circle and it happened again. I actually remember the day I got diagnosed anorexia. I went to the doctors and he put me on the scales. And he realized, then I realized that I was only 41 kilos. So in over nine months, a year, I lost over 13 kilos. The turning point in my recovery was my what my brother told me. When he learned that I was bulimic and anorexic, he said to me, if you ever throw up again, if you ever start again, I will never speak to you. That was a click in my head that completely changed and on that moment going on I knew I wouldn't start again and I knew I wanted to get better. When I first heard about Kenya it was before my eating disorder because it was a long-term project and so I was really happy about going. When I got diagnosed with uh, anorexia my mum told me that if I didn't put three kilos on I think it was I wouldn't be able to go and my doctor said that they wouldn't let me go because my, my immune system was too weak. Kenya was definitely a mind switch uh, to my relationship towards food. I remember one specific moment we were in Camp Mahaka and we ha were having potato and spinach mixed up. And one girl in our group said, ooh, this is disgusting. I think that made me reflect a lot on myself. And then I thought, well, you can't really you can't blame her, but you can't blame her if yourself, you will willingly decide not to eat because you're scared of food. We started the hike to the peak at four in the morning because we wanted to get there um, for sunrise. And I remember being really scared we wouldn't be able to make it in time. Once we were at the top, I remember just being silent and just with myself and like taking the moment in. I remember feeling that everything was going to be okay, that if I could go up Mount Kenya. I could get past mating disorder. I could get rid of these thoughts and go past anorexia and it could be like a no chapter of my life. It felt like a new page was opening. Didn't directly believe that everything was going to be okay, that I was a new person, but I knew that I wanted to be. I would tell someone that suffered, that is currently suffering from eating disorder, that it is okay. Things are going to be okay. I think that you need to be able to ask for help. You shouldn't be ashamed of having an eating disorder. Having a support system is so important. Like without my brother and without my best friend, I know that I would not have been able to get better. I know that what helped me a lot through to get out of my eating disorder is also my studies. It helped me to focus on something that was bigger than myself and to so many other matters that are so much more important about how your thighs look or how you feel after eating a piece of cake. Like the world goes beyond that. And I think that once you realize that, things just get so much easier.